Hey gypsies, happy Sunday. So I'm here with Fee and today is our cooking with Gypsy and Fee. So we are on our way to her place, but first we are gonna stop at Walmart because we do have a few ingredients to grab for our recipe today. You wanna tell them what we're making? Uh, we are making four bite ap mini apple pie cookies. Yes. We debated on whether to add the cookies on there, but... <laughs> they don't, I mean, they kind of look like cookies, but... Yes, but they're four by apple pies, and which sound filled, better. they're filled, like they look like mini apple pies. Yes, absolutely. So they're going to look good. We're going to serve them um, with vanilla ice cream on the side. So we are looking forward to doing this. And we're also going to film the first part of our wreath making um, to show you our mad wreath making skills. And somebody brought her time. I brought my tripod, so we're doing good so far. Walmart. Yes, Walmart. So anyway, we are off to go to Walmart. We are pulling up now, so we will see you back in a minute. Bye. Okay, guys, we've made it back to her house. We have all the ingredients laid out here. I'm going to read you the ingredient list. And just keep in mind that we are doubling this recipe, but I'm going to post the recipe. We found it on Pinterest. In the description box, I'm gonna put the link down there. So it's only for, you know, just the regular recipe, but we're doubling it because we have a lot of people that are gonna enjoy these. So there's something funny here. Um, first off, it's we have to cook apples and stuff. So it doesn't have a pot. So I'm like, what do you have? Um, we came up with this. So we're gonna try this on the stove top we only have to cook it for 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, guys, but we're gonna try it. Because at this point, we just have to. There's nothing else. We don't have nothing else to do. She said, I got a crock pot. I said, well, that's a slow cooker and I don't really have time. So anyway, here come the, the ingredients. Two tablespoons of butter. Um, you know, it didn't specify whether it was salted or unsalted. Oh, well. So we're using salted. That's what we got. Okay, five cups of peeled chopped apples. Yeah, we are using gala apples today. You can use whatever kind you want. We got the cheapest. Okay, half a cup of water. Uh, six tablespoons of granulated sugar. Which is regular sugar, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Four tablespoons of brown sugar. And it, again, it didn't specify whether it was light okay. or dark, but this is light, so we're going to use it. There we go. Um, three tables or three teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Salt. A pinch of ground nutmeg. nutmeg. Okay, and then um, we need two pie crusts from a two for two crust pie. So we've got two boxes. They only had one box of the uh, Walmart brand. Yep. So we got a Walmart. And a Pillsbury. Okay, two large eggs. Again, half a teaspoon of water. And then sugar sprinkled on the top of these bad boys. So what we're going to do is get, get the apples peeled. And um, we'll be back to start from there. She's going to peel. I'm going to chop. Okay, guys. So we got the apples all chopped up. And before we get the filling mix going, I just want to give a big shout out to Gina Bridgewater. Um, your granddaughter, Kay Faith, sent me a message on Instagram and said that you love my videos and you love watching them. And she asked me to give you a shout out. So I just want to say I appreciate you so much for watching my videos. And yeah, just wanted to give you that shout out. And then now we're going to go on and continue with the recipe. So this is what five cups of chopped apples looks like, guys. And they are ready to go. So we have actually melted, is this hot? Um, yeah. We've actually melted two tablespoons of butter in our, in our <laughs> cooking pot here. So it's ready to go. So I'm gonna let Felicia start adding all, is this even, is that gonna fit? Yeah, I wondered about it. It's probably, we're gonna have to do two. two no, we're not. Okay. We're, it's gonna fit, it's, it's gonna, gonna fit. fit. So I'm gonna let Felicia add all of the spices in. Then we're gonna add the apples on top lastly. And yeah. Wait, so. why don't we just put the spices in there and mix it up? That way you won't be trying to mix all. Brilliant. The She's so brilliant. 
She's so brilliant. Okay. Yeah, what was I thinking? Okay, so she's going to measure these out. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down here so you can see what she's doing. Okay, hopefully you can see that bowl good. I'm going to read it to you. Okay, so we have the apples in there. Half a cup of water. Okay, um, six tablespoons of granulated sugar. I'll open this for you. Six tablespoons? Go ahead and do the four tablespoons of this first while I'm opening the sugar. Four tablespoons of brown sugar, guys. We're using light brown. Light brown. So just do heaping. There we go. That was wonderful. And four. Now we'll do the granulated uh, level. Okay, six tablespoons of gram granula <laughs> granulated sugar. Yes. You need to get some Pioneer Woman canisters. Those are gorgeous. Well, if anybody doesn't know that's watching, I'm a cheapo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't count, I wouldn't call it a cheapo. I'd call it frugal. I am thrifty. I am very thrifty. Thrifty. Okay, so next we need three teaspoons of cornstarch. Yeah, Pioneer Woman is a little pricey. It's so beautiful, but it is pricey. Three, and try to do them level probably. Level-ish. <laughs> Good job. Get this light, maybe down there a little bit. I don't know. Did you get them? I'm gonna open the salt for you because you're gonna need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. to their own. All right, a fourth of a teaspoon of that. That stuff there. All right, and a pinch of ground nutmeg. Pinch so. Good. <laughs> awesome. All right, you want to go ahead and stir them up? Well, I don't feel like I'm in kindergarten right now. Do we not need cinnamon? We miss the cinnamon. Oh, a half, a, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'll stir it. Then we'll move the tripod over here. Good job. Really? <laughs> you know, these are going to cook down, so even if they start out being a lot for that pot. <laughs> I say that lightly. Uh, you want to bring the pot over? <laughs> the pot, yes. Bring, bring the, the pot, pot over. Pot, okay, a brownie pan because that's all we have to work with right now. <laughs> uh, we're going to do better next time, guys. We said that last time. I know, but we thought we were. We even got the tripod. Yep. All right, these are pretty much, much mixed up, so I'm going to dump them on in. You gotta get every last one. No apple no. left behind. Martha Stewart was the worst for that. All right, you take that. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this over here. We're gonna get a different view on the camera. So we'll be right back. Okay, we moved the tripod a little bit. So it's on the eye. So we're just gonna keep an eye on the pan just to make sure it don't look like it's coming apart. Or getting a whole burnt or anything like that. Oh, you actually have to cook. I oh, know that'd be bad. 
You actually have to cook it on medium low, right? It said medium low. Um, so just start it out on medium until it gets nice and warmed up. Or, about medium. And yeah, medium. it is. It is. Okay. So, is it for ten minutes or fifteen? Oh, I need a wooden spoon. That's what do we need eggs for? Is that to brush on top? Yeah. Do you have a brush? Okay, listen. Now you're getting all fancy. We don't even have a cookie cutter. We have. We're using a cup for the cookie cutter. Here's our cookie cutter. It says to use a two and a half two to three half inch. To three, yeah. So we're going to use this glass. Um, I have a brush at Kristen's house still. That does not do okay, any good. Okay, let me. Can I just clarify? I have not fully moved in here yet, so this is a part of the reason I don't have everything here. Clarify. So it's not that I just don't ever cook or anything because I do, um, but I have yet to even stay here. So. Um, that's so I'm thinking we could use maybe a paper towel. For, oh, to brush it? That's the only thing I can think of. I have me a cute, you know what? Hold please, I might have another brusher. Maybe. She's checking guys, we might be in luck. I found paw holders. She found paw holders, oh yes. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking if we just like wad up a paper towel, dip it in, what, but, uh, the eggs? Even your finger. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll be able to do it, guys. We'll be able to. So until this stuff gets going good, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. Okay, guys, so this is coming along nicely. It's at a little slow bubble, and it's been cooking for about seven, eight minutes. So we're going to give it probably five or six I don't know, eight or nine more minutes, and then we are going to take it to the next step. So just want to let you know, so far the pan's holding out. So, so far so good. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, I was just wanting to give you all a close-up look on how that looks bubbling. It looks so good, and it smells so good in here. I can't really see what I'm showing you guys, but hopefully it's in the view. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to do the next step. I just want to give a shout out to Sonia, and she is on the channel, Brooklyn Girl. She made me the shirt. It says Keto Twisted Gypsy, if you can see it, guys. I love it, Sonia, and I just want to say go check out Brooklyn Girl and give her a shout out and tell her that Gypsy sent you over. Okay, so what we're going to do now is sprinkle some flour. But first, Phoebe is going to read you what we're doing. On a lightly floured surface until it is an eighth to a fourth inch thick and then we're going to use our cup but you use a two and a half to three inch round cookie cutter or biscuit cutter to cut out as many rounds as you possibly can from the dough and you'll need two rounds for each cookie okay keep reading go ahead and stop there and if you want to go ahead and get the cookie dough or the cookie dough the pie crust. I'll spread this out a little bit. Get this good to go. Now, it doesn't, one of the things that I don't like about this recipe, it doesn't say whether to put these on like parchment paper or spray your pan or whatever. So we are kind of unsure about that. I don't want them to stick because I know they'll tear up if they stick. This is one of the things that I've done very rarely in my life, guys, is full with rolling something out. So, just want to let you know if it looks like I'm doing it like crazy or don't know what I'm doing. I don't. Absolutely don't. But we're going to go for it. I mean, I feel like you're moving a little too much. Uh, that's what I said. I feel like it's going to be like already. I mean, I'll roll it just. It. Yeah, I'll flatten it out real good just to get the flour on it and then we'll do some rounds probably what the, the leftover you know and we got some oh, yeah, scraps yeah. Mm -hmm. we can do it that way okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put it over here get that off because 
I know what I'm doing, guys. So, what should I put on then? What are we going to do? I feel like the pumpkin things kind of stuck to the part of the paper last time. Let's spray it. Let's just take a chance. We'll spray it with coconut spray. The pan? And we'll see. Yeah, the pan. And we'll see how it works from there. Go ahead and get one sprayed. And then I'll be cutting these out. I'll get as many as I can here. And really, the, there should be exactly enough to go on that pan because it looks about the same size. So I'm just using this glass in lieu of a cookie cutter. And that's what they did before, guys. You know, cookie cutters ain't been around forever. They always used to use glass. I remember my aunt always used a can for biscuits, and she kept that can for years. And you could tell it was her biscuit cutting can. So. And I'm glad she thought of it because my first thought was, well, I have Christmas cookie cutters somewhere. <laughs> so I don't think snowman apple pies would be real good, but. I mean, they might be cute. They'd be adorable. And we may even try to get around Christmas, yeah. right? Okay, so do you want to go ahead and transfer these over to that? Um, yeah. They should fit perfectly. I'm That's what we're hoping for. Getting them. Well, All right, and this is what I'll roll back out and try to get so, one or two. I feel like I need a spatula or something. Shall I go in that way or the other way? What do you mean the other way? <laughs> that way's fine. That way's fine. I'm going to help you out here. Okay, they're coming out. All you got to do is just barely get them. Wait, does it say late so far apart? I don't know, and I don't care. Oh. All right. Okay, so basically it says to go around the outer edge with a little bit of water, right? Make a little room because I think I could get one or two more and we could add it to that one, okay? okay. I'm going to try to get one or two more just to fill up that pan. I mean, I wouldn't see them expanding too much. No. Because it is I wouldn't think so either. They may puff out a little bit. Jamie is... I think we'll get two more out of that. Okay. So, I'm going to put those two on. And then it says, you want to do the, it says to do the water and then the pie filling, right? And then add the tops. Are they? Well, hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the second roll. So, what are we doing? Um, we got to do a thin layer of water around the outer side edges. And I don't know if that's... Crush the water. Crush the edges with... Kind of water. Okay. I guess the thing to do would be to do get all these ready to go. And then we'll do the edges with oh. the water. And then we'll put the... Uh, Apples in, and then we'll quickly put these on so they'll stick. What do you think? Does that be good? Yep. Okay. I'll just have these ready. And do you have like a teaspoon? Right. Yeah, two teaspoons in the middle of each one. You don't overfill it. Says. I'm afraid. I think that'd be probably perfect, don't you? Do you How many rounds do we have? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to some people. Does it matter to you? No. We have 11. Well, that's what, what would fit on. Do you feel like we could get one more? I could probably get one more out of there and make it even 12. Yeah. All right. Let's just say that one's the one. 
The one. The one. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. If you didn't hear last weekend, we ain't fancy. <laughs> so everything doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So I just need to get one more out of this. We don't need them up yet. Okay. You just put it. Okay. I see what you're doing. Okay. So, you want to go so ahead and do the water. water? Okay. Yeah, do the water. I'll be making sure I have 12 of these over here. How much water do you put on this? Just, just like that. Just, yeah, that's it. Just like that. That's perfect. So, I just need one more on the sheet. Yeah, that's why I guess I'm going to wait till the last to get that done. Yeah, we ain't fancy, that's for sure. This one take all day to do this. I think you're doing good then. I got four. There's our 12 toppers. And I think we're gonna take a fork around the edge of each one, right? Mm -hmm. Which will make them fancy. Did we poke a hole in the top with a knife too? Uh, yeah, you cut, so uh, that, you cut a like the little design. Line, yeah. Okay, I can't remember which ones I did. This one, these three right here need to. Where's your forks? In the store over here? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you what, if you want to put the two teaspoons in, I'll come I'll come behind you, put a round on and do the fork. All right. So Start over here on the side. Maybe one and a half. Maybe. Yeah, put the rest of it. I don't think. Okay. Right? We'll just do one big one. How about that? One big one. Oh, wait. We'll probably have apple left over. Well, it's okay. Well, you could add granola in it and have it for breakfast. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. I hope you guys can see. Maybe we should slide it just a little closer. I'm gonna slide it just a little closer. You guys can see. It's actually not hard. It's just a little time consuming, right? Mm -hmm. Probably would have been easier if we had just used canned apples, right? Well, listen, Linda. <laughs> Who's Linda? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you, you can use canned apples, but I like to make some stuff from scratch. Oh, I understand. All right, this one's a mess. I understand. Um, now, it said also you can make your own pie crust, but I was okay with store bought pie crust. Yeah. Crusts, but it's better to make your own. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm all about easy, guys. Easy. Now, see, we did easy and make your own. Yeah, homemade and easy. Like when I make my sweet potato casserole, I do not use canned yams or whatever. I'm just, yeah, I would try to get her to use canned yams. No She's way. like, no. I will sit there and peel every sweet potato. It's just how I am. And they probably would like to see you make your sweet potato casserole. But it's so good, right? Like it is the wonderful. Fresh, the, the sweet potatoes. It's great. I will admit it. It's wonderful. These are going to turn out really cute. I know. I'm excited. I feel like cute. We're just going to work over each other. And the ones that are done, when you're done, you can go ahead and do the little knife oh, snap. thingy. Now make the knife thingy cute. Um, so you can actually take the rest of this, if you have some left, and simmer it up even more, and make like homemade applesauce. Yes, on toast. Mm -hmm. 
or just by itself. <laughs> Sounds great. Listen, Linda. What? I'm gonna give you the rest of that so you can make you some applesauce okay. for your quick and quick and cranky. So what did the So while these are baking, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the first part of our wreath, or, or attempt it. We neither one have done one before, so this is going to be something new. Gosh, I feel like I'm shaky or something. Have you ate? I'm not really shaky, but this is, I feel like it's very delicate work. Oh, i just be like, boom, 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 boom. You just told me to make them look cute. I know. I know, I know. You're doing an excellent job. Look at that. Oh, How cute. These are going to be adorable. I think they're going to be really good. Yeah. All right. You finish that up. I'm going to go wash my hands in the bathroom. I'm gonna have to be careful with this knife. Why is it sharp? I hope you got some more waters in your fridge. Oh my god, that's the only thing I have in my fridge. <laughs> Heck yes, you got some more waters in your fridge. I'm still thirsty. I have bottles Christmas. of water, I have a gallon of water, and I have ice. I feel like it's sacrilege to throw this away. I know. You can make Not, one big apple. I was thinking you can make like that, an like, apple turnover or something. Like roll it out really big. I think I'm going to do that because only that's we can put this on the other one by itself. We're going to have to do a whole other yeah. thing anyway. Uh, I'm going to make it. How cute are these? They are adorable. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh you got to oh. egg wash them. Oh, snap. No. You egg wash that's them while I do hard. this. First of all, get you a bowl, mix up two eggs. It's not going to be hard. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Fresh fish pie cookies. Oh, prepare an egg wash by lightly beating two eggs. Wait, beating together the egg and one fourth teaspoon of water. Okay, so we're doing two eggs and a half a teaspoon of water. <laughs> or one egg. It says for one egg, but we have, we're doubling. Oh, so you can use it for the next. Okay, gotcha. I mean, we can do it one more. We'll just do one egg because normally you have so much of that yeah, stuff left anyway. Yeah, that's we'll true. We'll just do one egg and a fourth of a teaspoon. That's true. Right, so a fourth of a teaspoon of Yeah. So we're going to make a freaky big misfit, which means you can split when it's all said and done. Yep. Right? Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these uneven edges right here. Oh my gosh, guess what I don't have down here? I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm going to use it. Let's this. hear it. A fork, a fork. Yeah. That's all you need. It'll be all right. All right, so this is going to be the misfit one. So let me spray this. What'd you do with the spray? washes I read on it. Um, it says these uh, that the crust isn't going to be as long in the oven as long as a regular pie so it's not going to have time to get that golden brown and the egg wash is going to help it get that cute brown color. Oh 
Okay, so why is it not going to be hard to bring your finger over all of it? Am it's I not your finger. finger. What are you using? It's not your finger. Okay. All right, here's my thoughts. Okay, give me your thoughts. Oh, a tissue. I'm going to wad this up, but keep the, the flowy end out. You're going to dip it like that, and you're just going to... Okay. Just like that. You about to dip that whole bowl of money. Girl, <laughs> girls got to do what a girl's got to do, right? Again, we ain't fancy. We ain't fancy, guys. Uh, we're going to have a lot of that apple stuff left, I feel like. Mm. These better not stick. I'm going to be real upset if these I know, stick. right? Oh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was thinking I had a top to put on here, but I'm folding it over. So, well, you have a little bit over there that you can roll out. You yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna. To. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna take some of this out. Okay, pile that over there. When I said mess with it, I wasn't kidding. I wasn't kidding. Let me just get a little water. These outer edges. This is already seeping out now. Don't worry about it. You can't worry about everything. It's okay. to so much noise in my life. I don't hear a lot of noise. Oh, gross. Okay, that's not okay. I need a spatula. Was that a knife? No. Spatula. Oh. Okay, guys. I made a misfit with the leftovers. So me and her will split this and let you know what it tastes like when we're all done. Don't forget to egg wash this one. Okay? okay. I'm just going to set it here. Like you're doing good. Yeah, this gentle is the key, I believe. Right? What you looking at, Willis? I was trying to see if that was done right there. Okay. Look like it might need just a tad more. Yeah, those are going to be nice and golden. Perfect. Okay, we're going to get these in, guys. Alicia, you want to put them in? I'll point the camera over there. There they go. They're going to bake for 15 to 20 minutes, I think it said. Okay. But with my oven, I don't know. Tell Siri to set the timer. Okay. Hey, Siri. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. Okay, guys. We'll be back in 15 minutes. But until then, we're going to go over here and start working on our wreaths. Just talking like everybody's like, what are they doing? Okay. Oh, can we just point out that my refrigerator is regular? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't know. Everybody last week was like, your refrigerator is so short. But I think it's, I feel like it's kind of a regular size. Fridge. I think it's regular size. I think to nowadays people are used to bigger sizes, but I think it's just a regular size fridge. And also while we're pointing things out. Oh, yeah. Here's her little ladder. Remember I told you that she had a little ladder with a burlap on it, and then I got the um, fall flowers. So she decorated that up while we were waiting. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, good news, they did not stick. They didn't stick. Okay, we're going to go on over here. We're going to check out what we got here. Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at that. They're so pretty. Yeah. Oh, and we, we're going to sprinkle sugar over them, too. Oh, we probably should have already done that. Do it now. Do it, now. Do it now while I video you doing it. It's kind of hard with me videoing and trying to see here. Okay, so she's getting the sugar out. Fingers. Fingers the end. Now. Yeah, just, I mean, that looks good. Perfect. Do a little bit over. Oh, not our. That one didn't get an egg wash, did it? Oh, snap. I told you not to forget the egg wash. Oh, not oh well. It's not quite as pretty, but I bet it's going to be good. Yeah. That egg wash should make them look... Really it did. Nice they look golden. Right they look golden. Okay, so we are going to pause this for one second. Okay, we are going to do a little taste test on our little halves that we did. So, 
You gotta hold this good. I'm Got trying it. to hold the camera and do this. Got it. I want the center part. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks good. It does look good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them that bite. It's hot. Look at that bite. Oh, oh, I think I dipped. I think I dipped. Oh, there's the bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it. <gasps> Is it hot? It's hot. Mm. I feel like I'm dripping. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> Okay, it's wonderful, right? She just took another hot bite. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good, but we actually got vanilla ice cream to put on top of this. So that, we're going to take a picture of the vanilla ice cream on top of one for the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So you can see the finished product, but it is absolutely magnificent. They're really good. I would highly recommend making these. Mm. Super good. Delicious, guys. Okay, so this is about the end of the video. So stay tuned because we're going to be working on our wreath some more and it's all going to be mixed up together, guys. So check it out. <laughs>